the Sean Bully, and this is FSL Now. Basketball season is finally here for all teams on campus. Our varsity women's basketball team took the court Halloween night facing off against Pensacola Christian, where they took the victory, 97-76. Senior forward Channing Gafford was the leading scorer of 17 points of the night. She earned SSAC Player of the Week recognition for her efforts. Angela Grant, JC Andrews, Morgan Holland, and Avaya Burroughs had each 13 points of Faulkner. We caught up with head coach Reed Sutton to talk about the game. So the wait is officially over, and we saw an impressive play from everyone. So how proud is everyone to even be back on the court now? Well, we just we talked about it before the game, we talked about it after the game. Let's just have fun. You know, we don't know if we're going to get a chance to do this again. We didn't know if we're going to get a chance to do this tonight. So let's just go have fun. You know, whatever happens, happens, and that's a great mindset to be in when you're going out onto the gym. Um, there's no pressure, you know, there's no no worries. You just go out and have fun and play. Now, you said something about having fun. So in that second half, we saw a different kind of focus where it did look like the ladies was having fun on both ends of the floor. What kept the ladies so fired up? Well, I think we were scoring, you know, kind of like when you score like we were scoring, when you shoot it like we were shooting tonight, um, you know, you're always going to have fun playing. But I really thought our defense improved in the second half and our rebounding was really solid all night. But I just think what was really impressive to me was we were making the extra pass. You know, we had 27 assists on 39 baskets. And, and when you have a team that doesn't really care whether it's you scoring or somebody else scoring, it just, as long as the team scores, um, you know, that's a beautiful thing. And that's what you try to do as a coach, try to build the perfect team. The men's basketball team also got in on the action this past weekend. The Eagles saw a victory in both games at the Fresh Start Talladega Classic. Faulkner won 76-65 against Central Baptist College and 79-70 in overtime against Missouri Baptist University. Junior forward C.J. Williamson was the lead scorer in both games, averaging a double-double over the weekend. We caught up with head coach Scott Sennison to recap the trip. So coming off a weekend with two victories, how did it feel to be back in the full swing for the season? You know, I was just excited about having the opportunity to compete. I know our guys were and get to compete against somebody else. And we played two quality, quality basketball teams. And they were both quality wins. I'm very proud of our guys. The Eagles will play again Saturday, November 21st against Carver Bible College. Our JV women's basketball team took the court first last Friday when they fell 57-51 to Coastal Alabama North. Our own Jacob Hartsfield caught up with Coach Joel Harrison after the game. Here with head coach Joel Harrison. So, Coach, basketball's back. How excited were you and your team to go out tonight and compete? Uh, I mean, extremely excited. I mean, it seems like, you know, with the pandemic and everything going on, I mean, just to get live basketball action, it's the greatest thing ever. It's really fun getting back out there and competing against somebody else. You know, we've been practicing against ourselves for about two months now, beating each other up. So it's just fun to get out there and compete again. Awesome, awesome. Um, what was the difference with the energy from the first half compared to the second half? Um, I thought the, the tough thing going into this game with having so many new faces is honestly, like from a rotation standpoint, we were kind of guessing on the fly. And I think in that first half, we were all kind of getting a feel for what game action was like. But I think in that second half, we settled down. And uh, us as coaches kind of got a better feel for the rotation. And we were able to kind of play guys in spots where they were able to succeed. And unfortunately, we fell a little short. But, I mean, we had our opportunities in the end. We just didn't capitalize. Okay, cool. Last question for you, Coach. Um, what will you focus on in practice in the coming days that will help you prepare for the next game? I think, you know, with that first game, especially with so many young ones, just get them to settle down. I mean, I think, you know, we missed a lot of layups, a lot of free throws. And honestly, I think over time, as we adjust and speed the game, we'll make those. But it's just nerves. Getting the nerves out. I told them in the locker room, yeah, we lost, but there's a lot to build off of in that game. And for that to be our launching point, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited for the rest of the season to see how we can grow from here. Okay, good deal. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Our JV men's soccer team and varsity women's soccer team wrapped up the fall portions of their seasons over the last week. Last Thursday, our JV men's team took the victory over FC Montgomery with the final score of 1-0. Our varsity women's soccer team hit the road for two games last week against Morton Methodist and University of Mobile. They will fall short in both contests to wrap up a plate until February. This week's Eagle Hot as our own, Grayson Plunk is sitting down with women's golfer Bailey Vasquez. Um, my name is Bailey Vasquez, and I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That's all right. Roll Tide. <laughs> all right. Uh, so why did you choose Faulkner? So I really liked that it was a smaller environment and, of course, that it's a Christian environment as well and that I could – that I had the opportunity to play golf at the collegiate level also. And, uh, so you got to take the opportunities when you got it, right? Yes. All right. Um, my next question is, if you're going to play 
any other sport, what would it be and why? Um, I would probably choose soccer because I played soccer in high school and since I was really small. So. Yeah, I played soccer when I was really small as well, and uh, sadly, it wasn't cut out for it. <laughs> no. But um, anyway, that leads me to my last question. So how did you pass the time during the shutdown? So I actually worked at the YMCA during the summer, and I worked in the child development area. And I also started the application process for occupational therapy school. And I actually got to complete that. And I already, I've already applied to three schools, so hopefully that ends up well. Until next time, I'm Deshaun Bullock, and this is FSN Now.